knock off the regular season champs Monmouth Siena. With JV on Ogan Yemi jumping against Jordan Washington for two and a half per game. That's his first of the game, and it's a big one. I think that's where Siena can really hurt Iona is on the glass. And a back shot knocked away for the first bucket of the game for Iona from Jordan. Three zone. They went a little 2 2 1 three quarter court pressure after that bucket by Washington. Washington is an emotional player. He's got to be careful not to pick fouls up. Ogan Yemi inside again. Siena beat Monmouth while yesterday Iona, under Coach Kloos, beat St. Peter's, the number two seed, by LeVon Long. But Washington needed to give that ball up. He had a teammate open on his left. Instead turned it over. Tough shot by Long. He averages 30. In the second half, fueled by Nico Clare, who comes off the bench. But that's a question tonight. As he has an ankle injury, Ogan Yemi blocked a couple of shots the second time he got called for a foul. Well, Jordan Washington is a really active player, 6'8", very athletic. He's a junior college player, came from Indian Hills Community College in Iowa. And he gets fouled a lot because of his activity level around the basket. Per 40 minutes, fouled over nine times per game, which is... At 40 minutes, he averages better than 33 points per game, and that leads the country. He only plays a little bit more than 21 minutes a game. And still, they had a tough early season schedule. But they really turned things around in the second half of the season. That win yesterday got them above 500 for the year. Nice shot by Jordan Washington out of Jamaica, New York. Patsos before the game, he said, I hate to start the game in zone, but we had a players meeting this morning. I let them decide. They said they wanted to start zone against this Iona team. Good work on the glass by Jordan Washington. Close out there to take away that three. Gave up a two. Oh, boy, big call there. And it goes against Javion Ogunyemi, his first. I like the fact that Ogunyemi decided that he wanted to attack. The overwhelming majority, they pushed the ball up the court quickly. And Much made a really nice pass to Crawford. Jump hook by Evan Fisher just into the game. Iona trying to take its first lead of the night. They're 21 and 12 for the season. Now to go back to the NCAA tournament. And Washington gives them their first lead of the night. Come to 69 and 67. Speculation here in the capital region, Jay, about his future. Many thought the win yesterday against the number one seed. Monmouth might have saved his job. Rogan Yemi blocks. Certainly a trip to the NCAA tournament if there is any question about Pat Sosa's future. That should go away with an NCAA bid. There's the little swooping hook for it. Can't let him catch it there. That's just too easy off out of bounds underneath. Ogan Yemi right in at Washington who commits the foul, his third, so less than a minute into the second half, Jordan Washington picks up another foul. Washington did not have his arms straight up. Now that's a, a pretty simple rule. Got his chest there, but see how he brings his arms down? When you get that deep under... Not sure whether he was confused as to what they were in. Back into 2-3 zone now for Iona, try to protect Jordan Washington. Leading by six. Wasn't the kind of weave that caused a switch. Now they got one. Now that was a switch I thought that McGill could have taken advantage of. Shot clock at five. McGill's open and gets the bounce. Three. Rattled out. Hit. Iona, 12 of 20 from the field in the second half. But Sienna staying in it by virtue of the offensive glass. Good pass inside. And Washington, who's been... Hampered by the foul trouble all night, earns a trip to the free throw line as he powered his way inside and got hit by has a defender on his back. He's going to score and get fouled. He had 22 yesterday in the win against St. Peter's, and with that free throw, he has 33 free throws entering tonight, most in the MAC and ninth most in the country, and he's now taken four more tonight and all on a one this conference tournament the last time they went to the NCAA. Deshaun Much guarded by Wright who was playing with four fouls. 
Washington inside. Scores with four fouls. Well, what a smart play. Iona. In the Washington. Guarded by Ogan Yemi. Two of the best big men in this conference. Washington the best. McGill in traffic. Foul. Well, what a cut. As soon as Siena went to rebounds to 11 for Iona. Double double for Ogan Yemi. Long and Bisping also have double figures in oh. rebounds. Up and in for Jordan Washington. Got right through. Stop. The team that gets a stop is going to win. Good move on the end line. Washington, you see his talents when he is in the game. Can't throws of his life and. Well, but I, I mean, I like you, but I, and you're a great teammate, but I'm not tucking your shirt in. No, I'm just saying. I mean, <laughs> I think if it's one time, you might want to just let him play with the shirt untucked. Jordan Washington makes them both. Well, we have seen clutch free throws made again and again. This has been so much. Fun. Two to tie, three for the lead. 13 seconds to go. Wright's had a brilliant night. Wright, six seconds to go. Clareth, yesterday's hero, off the mark. And they fall Washington with 1.6 seconds to go. Well, Clareth got a shot, but it was a challenged one. The man who shot more free throws than anybody in the conference this year. 68.6 coming in. Gonna get the return trip for the Iona Gales. They're six out of six from the line in overtime. They lead by four with 1.6 to go. Played their hearts out. What a fabulous basketball game. Right at three, but even though it goes in, they come up a point short. And as he makes the shot, he collapses to his knees, pounding the floor with tears in his 